what's up guys welcome back to the channel and today we're back with a brand new game well it's not a brand new game it's an old game but the channel haven't played it before so it's called saints row get out of hell so um this game is an expansion from the 2013 saints row um game and uh I haven't really heard too much on it we're just gonna give this game a try if you guys like this game please hit that like button so we can continue uh playing this series i don't know how many how many episodes we're gonna make but we'll see how it goes let's get right into this definitely don't want to play this hardcore i want to enjoy the game Guys, please let me know what you think in the comments about this game. So we know we're going to continue. Once upon a time in a far away land, there lived a man so exceptional that the divine hosts of heaven and hell were forced to take note. A man dangerous enough to bring Satan to his knees, but selfless enough to make God himself raise an eyebrow. How did this come to pass? Well, it all began at a very special birthday party for a very special young lady. It's always about a girl. What is all this? It's your birthday, Kinsey. So? You've never been to a birthday party? No. Oh, like not even growing up? I went to the School of the Americas since kindergarten. We didn't really do birthday parties. But you celebrated Christmas? I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh, Kinsey, this is going to be so much fun. Sinjai made a cake. Jane Austen is here. We'll play some games. What sort of games? So you celebrate birthdays by trafficking with spirits? It's spooky and fun. It's a bunch of letters. It's tradition. Every oh, slumber wow, party has to involve voice. a spirit board. Slumber party. How's it work? We ask it a question, and the spirit of the board will reveal the answer. How? Yeah, someone pushes the pointy thing to wherever they want. Wait, wait, wait. Can we go back to you and your slumber parties? No time. All right. Everyone put their hands on the cursor. Cursor. I feel the magic already. All right. Will the president slash god emperor for life ever choose a partner to reign alongside them? No. Ooh, someone's getting married. Shut up, Matt. Who will tame the president's wild heart? <laughs> what are you guys trying to spell? I'm not moving yet. That's the spirit, Kinsey. I'm serious. I'm not moving it either. Neither am I. Yes, I was moving by myself. <laughs> collection and found it there. Who did it belong to? Alistair Crowley? Christ. Um, guys, I think it's laughing at us. Fuck this. I think you're a smart enough piece of wood to see where this is going. Are you ready to cooperate? Just <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we got a lot the of The board options. said, yeah. Mount up and go in after the boss? No, I do. No sense in what's left of humanity walking right into a death trap. Someone's got to live to tell the story. That's a stupid plan, Johnny. I'm leaving you in charge. Hell of a plan, Johnny. Are you serious? I'm coming too. Are you kidding me? How do you plan to come back? Yeah, I try not to sweat the details. You need someone with you that does. No. It's my birthday. Fine. All right, then. You know where my friend is? True to its word, the spirit board opened up another portal and sent Johnny and Kinsey screaming into hell.
behind this. I know it. Ultra and the Saints haven't been enemies in years. You really think he's responsible? Bruh. You don't know him Bruh like I do. The boss put him through a window for a reason. The reason was the boss was kind of fucking crazy back then. That's a fair point. You know how much easier this would be if we just found a car? Okay, you know how much jump. easier this would be if you just gave me a second? Roll. We'll circle. Oh, circles for my stuff. Uh, L1 hijack quickly. Hijack vehicle. Okay. Uh, the hell are we gonna find the Eltor building? Biggest building down here. Giant altar sign on it. I don't think this is a problem. I'll buy that. Do we have a map? Go to map. Yes, we do. I guess that's where we're heading. This reminds me a lot of GTA, GT5. Turn back there. Oh, are those cops? They got cops in hell. Yes. Kinsey Kensington and Johnny Gat driving together on a birthday adventure. Are you always this excited? Generally, I'm Miss the Road. I get it. Oh, come on. Oh shit. Not as bad as I thought. It kind of reminds me of Steelport. <laughs> you think I'm scared of you? So uh guys, let me know so in the, the comments what what y'all think, what's what's think the about this game. What if Dean doesn't have And if you guys played the, the past games, what y'all thought about the other games? Because I honestly, straight up, I, I ain't played them. I did not freaking play those games whatsoever. This is actually the first one. I think we're here. Yeah, we're here. Oh, wow. Can you kill people in hell? Let's check that out. Yeah. We may have got the attention of the demons. How do we want to handle it? We handle it by killing demons. Welcome to hell. Shouldn't you have a receptionist? Such is the plight of eternal damnation. I have a feeling you didn't come here to catch up. Let's talk in my office. Not even death could stop the enterprising Vogel, who wasted no time in setting up an altar branch in the bowels of hell. Dane was eager to fill Johnny in on the ever-shifting politics of land rights in the underworld. But real estate mattered little to Johnny, who only cared where his friend was. You're trying to con Johnny right now. Where'd you put the president? I've been trying to explain that I didn't take them. Bullshit. You expect me to believe you just happen to be the first thing we see in hell. Basically. Maybe it's just me, but your thank you sounds more like an accusation. That's probably because he plans to kill you. Okay. I get the trust issues. Can I show you something? The pieces all came together. The president had caused more chaos and destruction than any other in human history. It was only natural that Satan would want them to marry his daughter. They needed a plan. And Johnny had one. I'm gonna shoot the devil in the face. I think you might be skipping some details. No, I said in the face. I like the commitment, but you gotta find a way to get close enough to him in the first place. When's the wedding? 
I'll just show up and then you'll shoot him in the face. Sorry, but it's a little more complicated than that. These things are tied to the soul. You won't be able to enter without one. So how do we get one? You get his attention. I know some places that are of particular value to the father of the bride. You hit those, you'll get your shot. Wait, why would Satan give out an invitation for destroying his stuff? Oh, he won't, but it should piss him off enough to get him to attack Johnny personally. Either the devil kills Gat and Ultor gets the construction contracts to rebuild what was destroyed, or Johnny kills Satan and I'll have to pay less taxes. It's pretty win-win. Oh, for That's you, why bro. You're us? To make more money in hell? Hell's what you make of it, sweetie. Works for me. What you got? All right. Satan had entrusted the day-to-day -day running of hell to five archdukes, and Dane knew how to find them all. But beyond that, not everyone in hell was content to go along with Satan's status quo. There were others who shared Dane's ambition for power, and the Altor mogul knew that the key to unseating Satan lie in gaining their aid. But before Johnny set out to wage war against the Prince of Darkness, Dane had one final gift. An artifact that he had spent fortunes on. Lucifer's Cracked Halo. This holy relic granted Johnny the majestic wings of the Morning Star. However, he still needed help in learning how to use them. Do we get to fly? We're getting some wings. You got me on the sticks, now what? Would it kill you to show a little excitement? You're about to experience angelic flight, for Christ's sake. Dane. Someone needs a nap. Just collect some soul clusters and power up the halo. You'll be flying around in no time. How do I collect? Oh, you just walk right into them. All right. That seems simple enough. Great. Now you should have just enough clusters to power up your halo. And we got some sprint love. Nice. So why take a car if we could run as fast as cars now? All right. Let's start slow. Try to jump over to that next island. Also, the longer you charge your wings before jumping, the further you'll go. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, he jumps high, bro. Oh, oh, oh. I messed up. I messed up. How do I get back up? Hey, you didn't fuck it up. Good job. Now get up that cliff. Don't worry. If something looks too high, just keep on jumping off the wall. Remember to charge your jumps if you want to get up the cliff faster. Okay, now it's time that's to fly. cool. You heard of crawling before walking? Well, in this case, you need to jump before you can fly. Launch yourself in the air with a jump and then hold your wings out to glide to that next island. I put out some orbs to show you the path. the wings running out of juice this is bad timing okay yeah, let's let's just fall let's just fall and try that again wow that's crazy the flying is uh here's a tip not so great you don't need to get a running start to fly just jump then hold your wings out to glide let the wings do the work Like they got tired. Running out of juice. 
You'll have to dive to reach the next island. Do that by pointing your head down. Don't worry. The rest of your body will follow. I put a shiny flat orb out in front of you. Collect the orb and your wings will flap to gain speed. Messed up. Missed the orb, dude. Let's try this again. All right, now try flapping those wings on your own. Do a flap on your way to the next island. exact opposite of diving is climbing. Climbing will slow you down and eventually cause you to stall. And trust me, stalling sucks. You can flap while gliding to gain additional speed. So the faster you're going, the higher you can fly. Now try to reach the island up there. All right, time to take the training wheels off for the final lesson. Flying takes stamina. If you run out in midair, you are going to drop like a rock. A stupid, stupid, Stamina oh, so that's why I'm blue gauge Last there. Last island is right under those lava falls. Notice how your stamina drains the longer you glide. Let's see what these things can do. Oh, oh. Running out of juice. Damn oh. it. I'm done for. Let's try that again. So this flying stuff is not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty cool. The remote's a little, a little Get off, you but you know, it's not bad. I want to run through all the stuff you can do to hurt Satan. Sure thing. See you soon. Here's the deal. If you want some face time with Satan, you need to get his attention. Now, Satan hates being challenged, so anything you do to undermine his control is good. Fraud, mayhem, shooting demons in the face, anything. You can keep track of Satan's wrath with this handy meter. Get it high enough, and you'll be having drinks with Big Red in no time. I've compiled a list of shit to do, so take a look and do whatever sounds fun. Oh, one more thing. We have some potential allies down here. Trust me, you want to impress them. Okay. Super Sprint. Yep. All right. So, where's our first? Where are we first heading? I see there's a bunch of stuff around us. I guess let's start right here at our HQ. God, this feels good. I get in the building. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Switch characters. That's what that was. All right. So let's start our first mission. And let's go uh, to this question mark right here. And since we can fly. We don't need cars. Woo! That's pretty cool. A little annoying, but uh, pretty cool. It's nice to get around. Easy. How do I start this mission? Also, 
So we're killing freaking While people. his wife Laura Over. was admitted into heaven, the Heavenly Father was less forgiving of Paul Tobias, who shut this and ah. the crazed drug dealer firmly and in the ah, of that's great too heaven. much. However, ever the optimist, Tobias tried to look on the bright side of being transformed into a husk. After all, while the removal of his signature dreadlocks was a disappointment, oh, wow. he was finally this is free from too having much. to wear pants ever again. But while oh. Perpetual Commando appealed to Tobias, he still yearned for Laura and her delightful snickerdoodles. Touched by his story and terrified by his demeanor, Legal Lee worked with renewed purpose to unite the two lovers. Bro, this is insane. Wow. I think I got it. Wow, that was nuts. Torture fraud. These guys are freaking clowns, bro. That was freaking stupid. Alright, so this game is really, really comedic. Let's check this guy up here. I'm assuming he's part of the main mission. Let's see what these things can do. Okay, hold up. Let me see if I could fix this because if, if the aiming, the aiming is not like that. I want to aim up, I go up. I gotta try to get her shots.
Can I steal their guns? Yes, you can. That was a, this is a cool gun. Oh. Incident resolved. The time had come for rising action. Bro. You ready to give up yet? I want to know the you know, combat, hand, hand to hand combat stuff. The battle raged on below, and as bullets and blood flew, the bard arched a curious eyebrow. Could this mortal be the exact thing that Shakespeare needed? This gun is alright. It kind of feels like you're not shooting anything though. I don't like that. Like grab them and then uh, use them as uh, use them as a shield. That's how. That's how. That's how. I like that. I want those guns, bro. How can I swap guns? Okay, I need a hide. Something. Here we go. We got the. We got the. We did pick up those guns. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's much better. This guy does crazy stuff. The conflict resolved. Shakespeare eagerly awaited meeting the champion that dispatched so many of his men. Undoubtedly, they were here for the Bard's aid. And while happy endings were not a thing found in hell, 
Shakespeare always had a soft spot for comedies. In the land of the living, William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the most prolific playwrights of all time. However, to the denizens of hell, the bard is seen in a far different light. After selling his soul for fame and adoration, wow. Shakespeare, Shakespeare served in hell as Satan's spy master general. In doing his duty, Shakespeare would punish the souls he was investigating by forcing them to perform in grotesque passion plays for Satan's amusement. But in a Twelfth Night-esque twist, Shakespeare found himself living a double life. While he projected an image of cruelty, his heart was as soft as Jezebel's. In secret, he would tutor her on the classics and act out the works of his mortal days. When Satan found out, he cast Shakespeare out of the palace, believing that the poet would be tormented by the populace of hell, far out of Jezebel's sight. But Satan had not counted on the bard's cunning. Embracing his persona of master torturer, Shakespeare and his followers, the tragedies, took root in the entertainment district, biding their time for revenge. So that's this guy's little background story. So Shakespeare called forth the deus ex machina to bestow our protagonist with the arcane power of force. Oh, we got something else. Oh, you can now slap. Oh, slam. I thought slap, slap. Slam your foot into the ground to perform an arcane slap stomp. Nice. Lights up. The mortal stands in the training grounds, eager to try out his new force stomp power on the group of demons in front of them. In which our protagonist kills more demons in Act 2. In which our protagonist is beaten by foul imps. In which our protagonist learns that Force Stomp even works on flying enemies, enabling them to remove a dark insider's ship before shooting. The day is won, and the curtain closes on our noble hero. Nice, that's a nice ability. I like it. Oh, we're back here. All right, guys. If you enjoy this game, guys, so we can continue playing it, hit that like button. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think about this game. And uh, if you know any, if it's any good, because I honestly don't. I did. I only did a quick little search on it, and uh, the bard gives exposition, which reveals that the president has been trapped inside some sort so of. So guys, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, so you know when I drop new the content. And I hope you guys have a great one. Is Peace. to draw 